lasagna, cannoli, aioli, rabbit, veggies, imare. Tacos. Nachos. Hello and welcome to Valletta. How to start your day in Valletta? Well, there is one thing for sure. Pastizzi pastry. This is a staple food of Malta and the most typical Maltese breakfast. There are different pastries usually in pastizzi shops, but pastizzi are the origin, the genuine ones, and we're just gonna go and try them. Hello, uh, one pastizzi ricotta and one uh, chicken, please. That's it. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Adios. Yeah. Okay, some nice Colombian ladies working there. I got my pastizzi pastry. Now it's time to sit somewhere and try them. Always quite hectic near the entrance to Valletta, full of buses, full of people, but this is how it is. This place looks good enough, so let's try our pastizzi. So we have chicken pastizzi and we have ricotta cheese pastizzi here and you can tell them apart by these poppy seeds on chicken pastizzi. You can see some bechamel sauce inside, mushrooms, chicken. This is a very tasty combination. And I might add that this is one of the better chicken pastizzi that I've eaten in Malta. Chicken pastizzi went quite well. Now it's time for ricotta pastizzi. Another quite tasty thin layered pastry stuffed only with ricotta cheese. And we can see that outside is quite, quite crunchy. These pastizzi are not the healthiest food around. They're a bit greasy, they're full of calories, but they are inexpensive and they fill up your stomach quickly. But let's go and check out some more serious food now. On my way to the next restaurant, I bumped into this Italian gelato shop making ice creams in the shape of a rose. So, enjoy the view! Here is our next destination, Zero Sei restaurant. They specialize in traditional Roman food, so Italian food, and they're famous for their lasagna. Let's go! I was already before this restaurant and tried their pasta, which they're famous for, but I always wanted to try lasagna because I heard from some friends that it's the top lasagna on the island, so let's check it out. But before lasagna, let's try deep-fried zucchini flour stuffed with mozzarella cheese. Before the main dish, I ordered some appetizer and this is zucchini flour deep-fried. Uh, fiori di zucca, inside there is a zucchini flour stuffed with mozzarella cheese. We can see the green and orange color of the flour and that mozzarella is just oozing out. It has nice and crispy skin and it's so full of flavors. Very nice and crunchy zucchini flour, deep fried, mozzarella cheese inside, quite tasty. This is an excellent appetizer and this is a very famous Roman street food, again found here in Malta. Lasagna is finally here, so let's dig in. In between the layers there is ragu sauce, bechamel sauce, mozzarella cheese and it is topped with parmesan cheese. Just look at those pasta layers and that fine ragu, there's also almost completely melted mozzarella cheese. All the good things they said about this lasagna were true. 
this is really a perfect lasagna, a proper Italian, the way it should be made. Now we are going for a dessert, I'm completely full, but we need to try the local cannolis here. So they even have a mini wine cellar in this restaurant and even though it's really small, it's also really cute. Uh, an amazing place where they keep all their wines. The cannolis are here and I got them for takeaway because I will not be able to finish them all, but let's try at least one of them. Very crunchy pastry and ricotta is so fine, sweet, but not too sweet. Perfect dessert. This was an amazing lunch at Zero Say. That lasagna was really, really outstanding, as well as the appetizer and the dessert. Okay, I'm full, but I don't give up. So let's get ready for the next place. Here I am in front of Angela Svaletta. This is a restaurant which specializes in Maltese traditional food, but also has some modern twist to its dishes. So, let's go. Cozy little restaurant full of old trinkets, really looks genuine and traditional. And my starter is here. Maltese traditional aioli. This is a, a bruschetta style starter with paste made of garlic, anchovies and sun-dried tomatoes as well as some spices. Okay, let's try aioli. Mm. Mm. You can feel very nice taste of garlic then sun-dried tomato and taste of anchovies comes just a little bit later. Very light, very nice starter for our main dish. Steaming hot pan fried rabbit is here, then we have these golden colored roast potatoes and then some very nice and juicy looking roast veggies. The rabbit is here, traditional Maltese dish well known all around the island. This rabbit dish is accompanied by some very nice looking roast veggies, roast potatoes and mixed roast vegetables. Steaming hot. This is just the part near the rabbit's spine and this meat should be maybe the best cut. Mm. Traditionally carrots follow the rabbit, but some other veggies can be involved as well. This rabbit is pan fried and then sautéed and finished off in garlic sauce and its own juices. You can feel the taste of garlic and the meat is quite, quite tender. Let's try this roast pepper. The wedges are just perfect. This pepper is so juicy. I managed to finish this rabbit and I really enjoyed it and now it's a dessert time. My dessert, the traditional Maltese Imaret, is here. This pastry is fresh and very, very hot and it is stuffed with a paste made of dates. Mm. Mm. These are definitely very, very different Imarets than I tried before anywhere in Malta. These are obviously homemade completely different taste. These are made within this restaurant. They are completely different than any other imaras that I tried on the island. The shape is also different, the stuffing as well. And this is like a much, much improved type of this dessert. Mm. The stuffing is sweet. You can feel the dates. There's also some kind of lemony taste that improves the overall taste of these imaras. The starter was good. The rabbit was very, very good. But boy, is this a very good surprise as well. The best Imarets I've tried in Malta. And 
excellent overall service in that restaurant. I really enjoyed the lunch, but dessert just blew me away. I've tried Imarets many, many times before here in Malta, but these were homemade, completely different taste, completely different experience. But our food journey isn't over, so let's get ready for the next place. Here I am in front of our next and the last food stop in Valletta and this is the local food court. Let's go! Food court in Valletta opened several years ago and this is the place with the biggest variety of different foods at one spot. We have here a candy store offering many different types of candies, but then just beside is Pinoy, a Filipino street food restaurant, just beside it is Yami Yabi, sushi and Asian style food, where they make and cook everything fresh on the spot. Next to it is Turkish kebab called Konak, just across is wild poke and then Maltese food mercanti. Some sweets, then we have a pasta restaurant, a pizza restaurant, Vietnamese street food, Nepalese, Mexican, you name it. And out of all these choice here, I think I'm gonna go for the Mexican food now. So I moved upstairs to the balcony since it's nicer view and it's more quiet than downstairs, but my Mexican food is here, so let's check this out. Soft tortilla tacos. Then I got some queso fundido or the nachos with melted cheese and beef. These tacos are stuffed with chicken meat, pico de gallo sauce, onion, some parsley. Then we have guacamole sauce and lime as addition to these tacos. And these nachos or queso fundido we have these tortilla style chips with some guacamole sauce on top of some nicely stewed beef and melted cheese. I can sense that these nachos are quite uh, hot, so let's start with our tacos first. Let's add some guacamole on top and some lime. Wrapped and ready. The tacos are mildly spicy. Chicken is quite nice, juicy, not dry. The sauce and the guacamole blends quite nicely as well. Everything's on the spot. The chicken inside is not really too hot. I don't know what's the deal with that. That's maybe the only downside. Everything else is quite good. Let's go with queso pundido with our nachos. That cheese doesn't let go. Let's try and grab this with uh, two tortilla chips together, like a mini sandwich. World record in stretchiness. This nacho style dish just amazing thanks to that beef and everything else which kind of blends together quite well let's go back to our soft tortilla tacos these tacos are quite nice there is plenty of chicken so there's a lot of meat guacamole gives it a really nice taste the lime as well there is this mild spiciness from pico de gallo sauce but uh, what I don't like about this taco is the chicken wasn't hot. It was warm, but not hot. Kind of spoils the experience. Also, uh, pico de gallo uh, sauce, which is made of vegetables, there wasn't that much of it. So I would expect more uh, tomatoes, more these fresh veggies inside the tacos. It was full of meat, but it was lacking veggies. Usually people complain there's not enough meat, but here was the other way around. Other than that, these are good tacos, not the best probably that you would try, but they are okay. On the other hand, the nachos, the, the queso fundida here, is, is really a, a top quality dish. The beef is so tasty, 
but overall impression and for the price you really get a lot of food oh yes and one more thing when in Valletta eat Mexican but other foods as well So this concludes our food tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. All the best.